what's up everybody welcome back to figure, figure it out. out out of the basement action figure talk show slash podcast of course i'm nate joined with justin what's up guys and today welcome to the black series awards for 2019 yay please clap clap with us we're going to be counting down the top 10 best black series figures of 2019 we're also going to be giving out some of our own little fun awards. We're going to be having a little bit of fun here. So our, ra our uh, what are that, Razzies? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> We're going to talk about our most disappointing figure of the year, shelf warmer of the year, best gimmick award. And of course, we've got some honorable mentions. We're also going to do best archive figure as well. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of stuff to get through. Of course, when we mean top 10 Black Series figures of 2019, we mean this starts at number 78, mm -hmm. which is the Mud Trooper Han Solo. Mm -hmm. Han Solo Minbin. Yes. From that point onward. And of course, we own all of these yeah. figures. And it includes deluxe stuff that has True. been released. True. I would say vehicles, but no vehicles were actually released in 2019. Yeah. That line must must be dead for Last now. Last vehicle was the uh, Enfys Nest on the Swoop Bike. Which is a great vehicle set. What was 2018? True. So, let's get into it. <clears throat> Best Archive Wave figure. Of course, this year we had two Archive Waves. Mm -hmm. Eight total figures. Right. Really great idea. This was actually something that a couple of years ago on Figure It Out, we pleaded with Hasbro mm -hmm. to re-release old Black Series figures, which everyone can thank us for the creation of the Archive line. Send us money... Uh, with, Et without us, there would be no archive line. I firmly believe that. So, yeah. So, so out of the archive wave, what was it? Bosk, IG88, X-wing pilot Luke, X-wing pilot Luke, Boba, Boba Fett, Fett, Anakin, Scout Darth, Trooper, Darth Maul, Darth Maul, and our favorite. This is the. Oh, all right. <laughs> this is what we're going to be giving our best archive figure right. to, and that is Yoda. Really, the photo reel. The photo reel update just took that figure to the next level. The old Yoda was good; it was good at, at for its time. But when you look at him side by side, you're like, "Oh God!" All right. What was I thinking? Even thinking the old Yoda looked good. Mm. Now that's not to say that the other figures in the archive waves are bad. By True. any means, we have them all. Yeah. Both archive waves were easy pickups. Mm -hmm. Every single one of those figures is... Actually, I didn't get Bosk or IG-88 because I already had them, but the Darth True. Maul is super good. The updated X-Wing Pilot Luke face is good. Yeah. Uh, all those figures are just super mm. desirable. And the IG-88 actually has a different paint scheme. Uh, slightly different, yeah. But so, Yoda. Yeah. Yoda is our pick. Easily the best. Of course, you could go with a classic look or a prequel look with that figure. Mm -hmm. So you got your options. I kind of wish we could have gotten maybe more of a open mouth head, screaming head, or like a different facial expression. Because when you have Yoda holding the lightsaber and his face is like old wise, like Empire Strikes Back Yoda, it looks kind of weird. But, you know, whatever. Maybe his whatever. face when he's like messing with Luke. Yeah. Mine! 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 Just something else. Up next, we have the most disappointing figure of the year. And True. this one, this is a figure that looks great, yeah. but refuses to stand up. And there are no peg holes in the feet. Yep. So it is rather pointless to have, unfortunately. That would be General Grievous. Yes. He looks great. Fantastic looking figure. Love the cape. And the mm -hmm. lightsabers that are included. Mm -hmm. Clever articulation as well. Yeah, I do like the articulation. But. The twisting. He just cannot stand up. The legs are too weak. The joints are too loose. Mine stands up for maybe a day at most at any given time on mm -hmm. my shelf. So I usually just have him fallen over somewhere because I just don't care anymore. Yeah, I have him <laughs> propped up against the wall. Yeah, true. That. And that he should have came with a stand or some sort of peg of some kind. Yeah, because usually, obviously, there's a few Black Series figures in the line that have trouble standing, but they all have pegs in their feet. So you Ahsoka. Can, so you can just put them on a stand and they'll be fine, but General Grievous's feet 
don't have pegs or anything. And of course, his feet are oddly shaped, so even the triangle-shaped Black Series uh, stand. stand is not going to help either. Right. And it's just super disappointing. And I think he's kind of small. He is. On top of he's that. He's too small. You know, when you compare him to either Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan looks too big, and then the battle droids. Especially because you want to hunch General Grievous over, so right. then he looks even smaller than he should. Right. Yeah, it's... He's definitely, like, way too small. Yeah. <laughs> now we're moving on to the Shelf Warmer of the Year Award. Of course, for years, we gave this award to Jin and Cassian. But now... I, it, we could still give them to Jin and Cassian in some stores. True. Particularly Meyer. Still holding that torch. But this year, we had a new shelf warmer in town. And the shelf warmer of the year is Young Han Solo. Good grief. Did this figure just linger? Good grief, Karga? On clearance no matter what. This figure just Even didn't, at Ollie's, there's just like a billion of them. Just did not disappear off the shelves for the longest time. Thankfully, at this point, it seems like he's mostly gone. Mm -hmm. I, I know I ended up getting one at, at uh, Walmart for $4. I said, okay, that's the that's the right price. <laughs> I can swing $4 for yeah. Young Han young, Solo. Young Lando is pretty shelf warmer, too. True. Young young Lando definitely also clogged those shelves up. Same thing with Island Journey Ray. Even though Island Journey Ray is a great figure, actually all three of them are great figures, if I'm going to be completely honest. I like all three of them. I own all three of them, but I've all, I bought all three of them on discount right. as well because they were just <clears throat> clogging the shelves for so long. Mm -hmm. So, Young Han slash young lando with a little bit of island journey ray in there the shell former supremes of 2019 yep. and now we're gonna pass off the question to you for a viewer's choice award yeah little little fan vote here the best gimmick award and your choice since you guys love yelling at us in the comments of the <laughs> is the carbonized figures worth it or not true i did not think that would ever be such a controversial video but yeah. here we are we have the best gimmick award for you guys to decide in the comments below is it the first edition box variants is it the carbonized paint editions is it the red eye when you get it cold in C-3PO and Babu Frick thing? Where C-3PO's eyes get red? Slash Dryden Voss with the scratch marks on his face. Yeah. Also has the, the cold temperature changing technology. Right. I personally, if we're going for the best, probably say carbonized because that's probably the one I cared about the most. True. But let us know what but you guys think. Know. Little fan vote here and then yeah. we'll talk about which one you guys voted in our next next video right because we're we're filming these way in advance yeah so true <laughs> so now on to the top 10 black series of 2019 like we said this includes number 78 onward it includes exclusives and pretty much anything else deluxe or what have you so and this was actually kind of a pretty hard list to make True. Because 2019 has been a great year for Black Series. This has kind of been the turnaround yeah. year. Because I remember us probably episode like 10 or whatever of Figured Out. We were complaining about Hasbro and the state of the Black Series. And now we're just fully back on board, especially True. with all the announcements for 2020. True. But they actually listened and they actually made some positive changes yeah. towards the line. <clears throat> and with distribution, I would say... Hasbro definitely kept their right. promise of right. saying better distribution this year. Absolutely. And keep in mind, it's our list, our opinion. True. And we filtered out plenty of figures. Yeah. We originally had a lot of figures on this list that we had to trim down. So odds are your favorites, were, we were thinking the same thing as well. True. And, so, of, and of course, let us know what your top 10 figures of 2019 are as well. Of course. We do have a few honorable mentions these ones were just we have too, two the, it was too hard to leave them off the list without right. saying something without saying something about right. them and that would be clone commander obi-wan kenobi 
True. We put them on here because there may or may not be another similar figure that just felt more right. Right. <laughs> Spoilers. But great uh, Obi Wan Kenobi photo reel on the head. Yep. A nod to the to the two D Clone Wars true series, which always has had a special place in my heart. So the moment the moment I saw that figure, I was like, wow. I can't believe they're doing the 2D Clone Wars version of Obi-Wan before the more popular 3D version. Yeah, which, but it has, like, the 3D version head? Right. It's the wrong head. It's like... Because... But there is an Attack of the Clones of Obi coming out, so you could swap it. The swap could be possible. Yeah. But the uh, second honorable mention we have is Commander Fox, GameStop exclusive. True. Great year for the clones this year. Fantastic year for the clones. The Commander Fox paint apps are particularly why we like it so much. True. No unmasked head, right. un which is unfortunate. But I don't think we've ever seen him unmasked. Or have we? I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, but, you know, we're kind of at the point right now where all the clones were coming helmet, you know, with your option. Because, you know, we got Wolf, who unmasked. Rex, you can unmask. True. But yeah, Fox might have not taken his helmet off in the Clone Wars show. We don't right. know. Still really cool but, though. Even yeah. cooler when you have the Entertainment Earth four pack. Yeah, you get the Coruscant Guard going. So Nate, why don't you start us off with number ten? Sure. Number ten is quickly becoming one of my more favorite Star Wars characters. Can't wait to see what happens next with him. And number ten is ninety three in the line, and that is Cal Kestis from Jedi Fallen Order fantastic video game of course we did our top five wish list of figures we'd want to see from jedi fallen order check that video out we gave our thoughts on the game we both really enjoyed it quite a bit the story might be a little you know it's star wars but he's still a fun interesting character and the figure is really cool too mm -hmm. comes Com with bd yeah it comes with bd the lightsaber is really nicely detailed the soft goods on Cal are really nice. He also has butterfly joints. The neck articulation as well as the head articulation. So really great posability with the figure. Mm -hmm. And knowing more about the character now, I like it even more. Yeah. I wish we could have maybe got a poncho on him. Yeah. Or, you know, I don't know. I just I just imagine like an ultimate Cal where you can just change the color of his outfit. Yeah. You yeah. said his hair could be a little more orange true well, red it is a little it is a little it, it's a little too brown especially when you play the game and see how red orange his hair is supposed to be mm. and of course the actor in real life uh cameron monahan 100 mm. percent has like pretty vibrant orange red hair right so but other than that though that's really minor and uh, it's just a really solid figure, and the game is awesome, so it helps the enjoyment of the figure as well. True. Coming in at number nine. Now, hear us out. Hear us out. We <laughs> have number 99 in the Red and Black Box series. That would be the First Order Jet Trooper. I don't even think this is controversial, but people will think it is because it's First because Order. Because it's a First Order Trooper, but this has some of the it easily has the best articulation from the First Order Troopers. I would say Troopers in general. Yeah. Because he has butterfly joints. And the way the helmet is designed for the head, you get that awesome, awesome articulation. I'm pretty sure mine is frozen, but I'm almost 100% certain he has neck as well as hmm. upper head articulation. Like, you know, Bespin Han Solo, Cal Kestis. Like, yeah. Mandalorian, the newer figures where they've started to do even more articulation in the mm -hmm. neck, so you get even more posability. Yeah, the figure we canceled out of our list to ha keep this one in was the Imperial Jump Trooper, right? Which is also a great figure, but the articulation on this one is just crazy. Of course, there's the carbonized and the standard. I like both. Yeah, I like both. I th I thought, you know. The carbonized release would be a good holdover until we got the regular one. Mm -hmm. And then I got the regular one and noticed that the regular one had some paint app details missing. Like, specifically the lines on the helmet. So then I'm looking at the carbonized one and I'm like, damn. Like, yeah. But 
Yeah, he's, he's basically just on there because of the great articulation. And it's a cool design yeah. as well. But the articulation is what... And there's also a variant coming soon. Oh, yeah, the Sith Trooper variant, which I'm down for. Yep. Paint him red. I don't care. Paint him red and I'll <laughs> buy it again. Why not? Coming in at number eight is a surprisingly great figure. Mm -hmm. And that is number 78. And that is Han Solo Mimban, yep. a.k.a. Mud Trooper Han. Who expected this figure to be so amazing? Easily the best young Han photo reel. True. And I, I didn't like Solo as a film, but there were a couple cool designs that they introduced, like the Mud Trooper and the... Uh, Mimbin Stormtrooper? Mimbin Stormtrooper. And I like the customization you have with this one. You could have True. Han with just the gas mask. You could have Han with just the uh, helmet on. Yep, removable goggles. Yeah, the goggles are, remo are removable. There's just so many different options, and obviously the best option being you could just have a mud trooper. Yep, just put the goggles over his face, put the gas mask on. It's not even Han Solo anymore. Right, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, the custom... It's a nice, like, teal, like, green has, trooper. It does have really nice paint details, and I like the gun that he comes with as well. Yeah. It's just a surprisingly good figure. No one... I don't think anyone expected anything out of Mud Trooper Han. Right. But here we are. One of the best figures of the year. The first figure of 2019, too, according to Jedi... Business? Business. Yeah, true. Alright, what do we have next here? Coming in at number 7 is number 85 in the red and black boxes, and that would be Obi-Wan Kenobi Padawan. This, of course, edged out Clone Commander Obi-Wan Kenobi because this one is slightly more important because it finishes the Duel of Fates. True. We've had a Darth Maul since the very beginning, Orange Line. Yep. And we've had a Qui-Gon as well for a while now. So 2016, 2017? Yeah, something like that. So we were down... To complete the dual fates and it's finally done the photo reel looks really good for ewan little young ewan mcgregor true the uh clone commander head looks better because it's just the episode three look but it still looks pretty good for padawan obi-wan of course the updated jedi body mm -hmm. with butterfly joints the newer thicker lightsaber yeah as deep well cut. yep deep cut elbows so padawan obi-wan just a great figure mm-hmm Coming in at number six is number 83 in the line, and that is the Battle Droid. Ooh, so good. It folds up. Folds up perfectly. The little removable antennas. Yeah, you could either have the antenna or the backpack, so there's customization with every one. True. And then you could also plug the gun into the side for uh, weapon storage. Yep, and the figure has crazy articulation. Yep. A lot of fun articulation as well. True. You can get them into some good poses. They have a little bit of a hard time standing up on their own because the they're so lean and small. Yeah. I, the thinness of the legs, and then, of course, they have a backpack on, so yeah. it's kind of wants to always tip backwards. Right. But mine freestand for the most part. Yeah, mine as well. I can maybe, get them to stand up. Maybe well. every once in a while they'll, they'll fall over randomly and I'll have to adjust, but I usually don't. Mm. So... Design-wise, they also look very accurate to the movies. Yeah, they have a hint of battle damage on them. True. A hint. And I can't wait for the Geonosian version yeah. and the Heavy Gunner. Yeah. It's going to be some really awesome figures coming. Yeah. Good, uh, good army building figure. True. And we will be building that army very soon. That is true. I already have four regular ones. <laughs> I only have two. And I'm down to get a Geonosis and a Heavy Gunner one. So, speaking of prequel content, coming in at number five is number 82 in the red and black box wave, and that would be Mace Windu. The hilt looks amazing. has a hint of gold in there, just like the movie. Yes. Nice, thick purple. Well, actually, Jaina Solo would be the first example of a purple lightsaber in the black series, but it's great to have a purple lightsaber in the black series anyway. The Dark Revan. <laughs> the photo reel... <laughs> Looks exactly like Samuel Jackson. True. Better than the SH figure arts. You know it is. You know it is. I'd agree with that. Independent neck articulation. Butterfly joints. The butterfly joints. The soft. Comes with a robe. 
Yes. Which Obi Wan did not come with a rope. True. I like that you can actually get him to get a good mm -hmm. lightsaber holding pose. Yeah, and it's just a super desirable character that we've been asking for, literally for years now. Yeah. Ever since we started collecting, we've been asking where is Mace Windu? Samuel Jackson, probably the most successful actor to ever be in a Star Wars film. True. Here he is, finally in 2019. Yep. But luckily, it was a banger of a figure, so he didn't have to uh, worry about that. True. Coming in at number four is a figure that just recently, at the very end of the year, popped up, knocked everyone's socks off. I don't think I've seen anyone say anything bad about this figure. We're talking about D2 in the Black Series, mm -hmm. and that is the heavy Mandalorian, a.k.a. Paz Vizsla. What a knockout figure. He's so big. So many good details. But with surprisingly good articulation. Yes. Butterfly joints. The nice single jointed elbows that are deep cut. Rotation at the forearm. Rotation up here. Yeah, mine, I do not have mine yet. It just shipped today, actually, from Best Buy. So. But you got to mess with mine. True. And, and you I were already know. You were struggling to put it down. I already you, know. You were just fidgeting with it because it's such a great figure, such a great design. Again, the two neck point articulation as well. And did you say weapon storage? Weapon storage on the jetpack as well. If yeah. you have an Iron Man Marvel Legend figure, the little boosters actually fit into the jetpack of the Mandalorian. <laughs> True. So I've seen a lot of people do that. If there is one thing I would complain about is that it is a deluxe figure and maybe they could have included some little blast effects for the jetpack maybe the saluting hand but they probably honestly had to base that figure off of concept art they probably did the best with what they could at the time mm -hmm. and of course you know he could come with a vibro knife as well but that's just all nitpicky shit it's just a great figure it's really big and has great articulation and that's what i love about it mm -hmm. coming in at number three another recent figure a walmart exclusive that we actually got a hold of whoa jedi knight luke skywalker return of the jedi something we've been waiting for for a long time an updated return of the jedi luke that is not puppy dog eye he actually looks like he's wants to confront vader not that he wants to cry <laughs> <laughs> actually looks like a little bit like mark hamill this time around yeah too. probably true. the best mark hamill photo reel that they've done easily the best mark hamill photo yeah. reel uh would i have liked the vest the the tunic to be removable mm -hmm. absolutely of course the articulation could be a little bit better because it is just the old body right with a new head but the photo reel head looks so good the lightsaber is amazing the the cloak is pretty good too true i like it the inclusion of a blaster is also nice because like i mean are you really gonna pose luke with a blaster probably not but it's cool it's a cool option i mean why did he let himself get captured <laughs> they forgot to include the black gloved hand god has bro you're so stupid Coming in at number two is number 94 in the Black Series, and that is The Mandalorian. Another fine example of perfect articulation, great weapon details, weapon storage for the blaster and the longer rifle. The pulse rifle. Sure, yeah. The cape could be a little bit better, but... Most people have already replaced it with a nice custom cape. And, of course, since we've been watching the show, we know that he only had that armor for two episodes before it got replaced with all new shiny silver Beskar armor, which, of course, Hasbro's going to force us into buying another figure, and we're going to happily do it. Well, actually, he technically only has that armor in the first episode because he gets the shoulder. Right, right. You're right. So, like... Watch them make a, a variant with the shoulder. No, they no do I don't think they'd go that they'll far. They'll do. They'll probably do a Mandalorian with the full Beskar. Yeah, and it'll be called the man, or it'll be called his real name. Yeah. It's either going to be called his real name, or it'll be called the Mandalorian in parentheses Beskar armor. Yeah. I'd be down for that figure though, but true. Great design, great articulation. 
The paint apps are fantastic. Of course, I also really enjoy the carbonized version, but the carbonized version is a little bit of a sensitive subject in the collector community right now. I'm sorry all of you out there that were not able to get one. My heart goes out to you, it really does. I've seen all those comments on our video. People yep. paying 50, 60, 80 dollars for carbonized Mando. Don't do it. Just don't, don't do, do it, it, guys, just don't do it. It's a great figure, but you don't need it. You don't need it. You knew it was coming. Number one, Emperor Palpatine with Throne. Amazon exclusive. It's a little pricey, but it comes with the throne. Highly detailed throne. Heads. Hands. Heads? Which and Three heads, right? Yeah. Which we don't normally see happen in the black series very rarely ever. do we get alternate heads when have we ever got alternate heads you're right i don't even <laughs> think we've ever had an alternate head unless you count masked and unmasked true but that doesn't really count <laughs> right yeah amazing details the photo reel on all the heads and if you own an another emperor then you can put a better head on him as well and then you can have two emperors that's what i did I wish I would have had I I would have an old emperor. I'm kicking myself in the butt for it now, because those other heads are. You so... can put the force lightning hands on the old one too. Yeah, the there's just so many. Like, of course you want to have the emperor sitting in his throne, looking menacing. But then at the same time, you're like, God, I love the force lightning effects. I love the angry head expression as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fantastic details on this one. Yeah, because there's the serious look, the grinning, and then the... Yeah. And well worth 40 bucks. Yeah. Well worth it. I would it. call that an essential Black Series purchase for yes. any collector. Yes. I mean, the throne, and it has, like, the purple padding mm -hmm. on the inside. And you can get this figure for less than the price of an original Emperor. So... And Emperor Palpatine did go on sale a few times already, so... Mm -hmm. I think that's an easy number one. Of course, we did have a little back and forth whether we wanted Mando or Palpatine as number one. Right, right. And of course, this year was amazing for the Black Series. We got so many desirable characters, so many great upgrades to old figures. So this list was hard to make. It was really hard to make. I think I don't really think there was an actual like bad figure released this year. Off the top of my head. Holdo? That was our list. That was our top 10 Black Series figures of 2019. Of course, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Leave your top 10 Black Series figures in the comments down below. Let's talk Star Wars. Of course, don't forget to cast your vote in the fan vote as well. Let us know what your favorite gimmick of the year was. Of course, if you're new to the channel, what's up? How you doing? Like this video. Smash subscribe so that you are Smash. staying up to date with our action figure reviews that are for adults only. Ages 13 and up. No one 13 or under watching this channel. Of course, thank you so much for watching. I'm Nate. I've been joined with Justin. See you guys later. And we will see you guys next time on Out of the Basement. This will be from number 78 onward and includes vehicles. JK, they didn't make any. <laughs> Or we're going to die. We're going to get fined $42,000. We're going to have to get a real job. Oh, oh no. no.